GEO is the new SEO. And if you're not learning GEO, you're falling behind. So what is generative engine optimization? Well, instead of giving you some, you know, abstract, broad definition, we're gonna jump in and actually measure and benchmark how often the engines like ChatGPT, Gemini, Google, and other AI modes are showing your brand. We can do this directly with a tool called LLM Refs. This is how often the LLMs or the AIs are mentioning your brand. So if we jump in here, they have a beautiful website and we can start off with some examples. So say we wanna learn the best lawyer in Atlanta. So if somebody were to say, hey, I'm in Atlanta to the AI, say ChatGPT, and they say, what is the best Atlanta lawyer? Anything along those lines, we can click search and what this tool will do is that it will show all of the brands their share of voice as well as the position that they're in. So ChatGPT and other engines will usually say, here's the top three lawyers in Atlanta, something like that, and it will list it out. Here you can see the top brands by ranking position. And this tool is actually searching these different AIs hundreds of times to find how often they're mentioning your brand. We can do another example. For example, something like best GPS tracker or, you know, best blue pin, best hiking tent. And if anybody's asking these questions, we'd see how often different brands are being mentioned. This is essentially the ranking position on AI that you're at. And whenever there's a ranking position, we can try to move ourselves up to that top number one position on generative engines. How do you inject your brand into generative engines? You become an entity. Now, when I say entity, don't think of aliens coming down to earth and, and you know taking over. An entity is actually really simple and it's been going around the traditional SEO world for a long time. An entity is a person, place, or thing. It's a noun and particularly a noun with a machine ID. And so these are things, people, places, or things that a machine understands and has a specific ID for. So they have pinpointed, right, the Eiffel Tower as a thing, as an entity. And Google, as well as Wikidata, has been doing this for a long time. This is the advent of the semantic web. And it's what current Google is all around. They have these machine IDs and they build up a knowledge graph of the entire world. And generative engines do the same thing. They have an ID and they use that same or similar ID for entities. And then they have facts around that ID. And so this ID should be your brand. And that is a core step in this process is you need to become a verified entity in the eyes of the LLMs. Now to do this, there's a lot of things you can do, but there's really some core steps that you can get down and they're not too difficult. To build your initial entity, you're gonna wanna claim and sync across all of the normal profiles on the internet. So you have your Google business profile, your Bing places, your Apple maps, as well as places like Wikipedia that might mention your brand. All of these contribute to building out your verified entity. All of these should be claimed, verified, and have your brand name and descriptions on them. Get everywhere you can be on the internet. So that includes all social medias and get your name out there. All of these different platforms platforms are feeding the generative engines. So you need to be everywhere. And you're gonna be hearing this more often as we go throughout the video. But the very quick way you can do this is use a tool called Yext. Yext will help you distribute across hundreds of platforms, yellow pages, citations, things like that, that can directly integrate with ChatGPT and other AIs. And this is very key. If you do not have your brand mentioned across the internet in all of the normal places you would expect, the BBB, things like that, you're gonna have a hard time building out a solid entity. These entities, these places, you want to be everywhere. And you're going to hear that again over this video because it's a key part of GEO. You want to be everywhere. Start off by verifying and claiming and syncing all of the different profiles on the internet that mention your brand. This is also social media. Make sure you have a LinkedIn profile, company profile. It's some of the most basic stuff. Keep it updated. Keep it consistent. Your address, everything should be consistent so that the AI models can create a very consistent entity for your business. Doing this and posting will help you achieve your brand recognition. And not only this, we've even seen in Google Eyes that just someone searching a brand a lot of times will create an entity for it. There have been tests that prove this. And so you'll also want to start hopefully having some branded searches just by building up your business and brand in natural ways, getting the word around and you know existing for a while. Hopefully you have some of these things already in place. If not, you do have some work to do. Check out Yex. It's going to help you a lot. Once you're a verified entity, the next 
next step is to feed the AI structured data or schema. Schema was a code originally developed by all the major search engines. So you're talking Google, Microsoft, Yandex. They all came together to build a code, a piece of structured data that is given directly to the search engines. And come to think about it, it's the same with generative engines. This structured data, you can be fed to the engines so easily in AI. And it's an amazing way to give them direct data about your brand and about your services, offerings, and a lot more. To give you an example of schema code, we can go to schema.org and actually add in one of those top brands from LLM Ref. Here we have Cochrane Firm, which was showing up most of the time for best lawyer in Atlanta. If we run through a validator test, we can see their organization schema here. This is, although very basic organization schema, it still seems to work. So you have the type organization, the name, the URL of the website, and a description that's really not saying much. They also have a website schema. So their website, a little description of who they are. They also have a video object schema because on their homepage, they have a video. Now you can go a lot more in depth than this. You can have schema that mentions and connects all of your social media, a full description, where you were founded, the founders, their names, their LinkedIn's. You can go really in detail on schema. And if you do this, you're getting an upper hand on getting in those AI results. So now you have a verified brand entity. You're on all the yellow pages, all the Google business profiles, and you're getting some brand searches. You started adding schema to your website. You have structured data being fed directly to the AIs. What's next? Well, this point is a extremely important for GEO, which is to be everywhere. And not only that, is to really syndicate everywhere. Let me explain. So when you have something like a blog post, you can take that and you can make it an audio version and you can upload it to SoundCloud, Podcasts, Spotify. You can build a whole podcast, upload that to iTunes, all of these different areas. You can post that same blog post in image format on your social medias, on Pinterest. Even you can upload on Medium or LinkedIn Pulse. This idea of syndicating your content everywhere is key in the GE era in the AI era. The reason being is that Google and all of ChatGBT and all of these AIs are crawling everything. And they love to crawl community-based stuff. So they love to crawl Reddit, Medium, LinkedIn, all of these places. And they love to crawl social media. And so you can actually feed the engines information about your entity, about your products, your services, who you are, and you can lead them to recognize your name as a part of, say, Best Atlanta Lawyer or Best GPS Tracker. All of this information can be really gained by going multi-format or multimedia. So syndicate your content everywhere, be mentioned everywhere. This is really a key part of GEO. Next, we go into actually some old school SEO that's really making a comeback, which is in GEO, press releases and backlinks are still a major factor. When we were looking at LLM Ref, we could see that they actually listed out and cited different URLs that they were gathering the information from. When you search something on ChatGPT or any of these AI models, they'll almost always search Google or Bing or other places for information and citations. These citations, these backlinks, are still a major part of generative engine optimization. And so you want to be listed where they're grabbing the information. If we see PC Mag is a major place that they're finding the best of for X or whatever it is, contact them, pay them, get listed on that listicle and AI will crawl it and return your brand. These kind of mentions are really important. This link building is still a key in 2025 and beyond for the AI era. Even more so, even basic guest posts and press releases can really help build up your mentions. Since a press release goes out on Google News and it builds up across hundreds of websites, it's a great way to really get your brand, your entity, your products mentioned with the relevant terms. So you can make a press release of, you know, X was mentioned as the best Atlanta lawyer in this publication. Maybe you paid the publication, but that's how you can get yourself and the crawlers, the AI bots to read and associate your brand with the different questions, answers, and mentions that people are entering into ChatGPT, AI, Google, and all of these other AI models. That's gonna be key to scaling and getting leads and revenue in 2025 and beyond, you are early. If you're on this video, you are early. So I really am excited for you. Time to invest in the new era of the internet.
So if you are interested in this kind of thing, I have a link in the description, first line or in the pinned comment to have a discussion with us. We can look at how this all relates directly in your niche and the competition there. So I hope you gained some value. If you did, leave a like, subscribe or add comments. How are you guys injecting your brand into the AI results? I'm so excited to share what we're finding every week and I'm excited to hear from you. So thank you. Talk soon. Bye.